Hello. It took a little bit longer than I expected, but finally it is the first device in Astrolink family that can work standalone. The heart of this Astrolink 4 Pi device is Raspberry Pi 4 module. It allows to connect to the Astrolink 4 Pi from laptop or tablet or any PC via the uh, Wi-Fi connection. Of course, there is also a possibility to connect it with cable. There is a LAN socket in the device and the, the device Astrolink 4 Pi can work both as hotspot, so it serves the Wi-Fi connection or it can connect to the existing wireless network like in your home or mobile router or any other kind of wireless hotspot. So now let's take a look what are the main features. Here it is. The Astrolink 4 Pi device is powered with 20 volts DC power. It contains four USB ports. Two of them are in 3.0 standard. Another two are 2.0. There is also a LAN port. It allows Wi-Fi connection. Now for the co setup components, it provides three DC outputs. One is permanent, two are switchable. Another two outputs are for doheaters that are regulated outputs, PWM pulse width modulation. Also focusing motor output, so focuser motor, stepper motor can be connected to it, both bipolar or unipolar with gearbox. And temperature sensor input is also the, here, so you can connect and measure temperature. And inside there is integrated cooling fan that switch on that is enabled automatically when the temperature exceeds the threshold. Okay, so now let's take over the sockets and connections. In the front panel there is LAN socket, you can connect LAN cable here and also there is wireless connection of course. Uh, but if you don't want to use Wi-Fi then you can put here the cable. Then we have four USB ports. Two of them are 3.0 standards, two of them are USB 2.0 standards. All these things come from Raspberry Pi 4 module. And the last orange socket in the front panel is power input, so power supply 20, 12 volts power supply needs to be connected here to power the device. So this is the front panel and now at the back we have five sockets, two pulse width modulation regulated outputs for two heaters can be regulated in the range from 0 to 100 uh, percent. Then three 20, 12 uh, DC outputs for powering the uh, setup components. One is permanent, so the voltage is always there. And two next two are uh, switchable, so they can be switched on from the indie panel. And at the top of the back panel, there is a slit, which is the output from the ventilation fan. You shouldn't cover this slit uh, because it may cause the device to overheat in some extreme cases. So the side panels here at the left side, when you're looking from front, there's on the one port output the regulated voltage uh, in the range from 3 to 10 volts. You can It can be uh, adjusted with small potentiometer inside. Uh, the adjustment uh, requires flat screwdriver 2 millimeters wide. And then on the right side, when you take a look from the front, there are two outputs. Uh, small jack stereo, this is the input from temperature sensor, DS1812 type, so we can measure temperature and compensate focuser position. And another output is a six pin output for focusing motor can be used any motor, uh, any stepper motor, either unipolar with gearbox or bipolar with micro-stepping control up to one of 32 micro-steps. Uh, the current of the micro-stepping of the focusing motor can be set depending on the, 
device revision with the potentiometer inside or in the indie panel. Take a look into the manual for details how to do it. And then we have a device top. There is a label and two small LEDs uh, that comes directly from Raspberry Pi module. Red LED means the power, so when the power is on then the red LED lights and the green lights means activity. Uh, it can be it's useful because uh, you shouldn't actually turn switch off power when the uh, activity LED is on. The device dimensions are presented here, so as you can see it's a pretty small device. So uh, you can use it in any size of astro imaging setup from small traveling setups to stationary ones even in the observing and the permanent observing site. Yeah and this is basically it in this first introduction movie. In the following, uh, following movies I will present the configuration and installation of the Astroberry system and in the panel but of course only for devices that has been purchased without pre-installed system. So thank you and see you then.